the groan or the emotion it's like almost like when the earth quakes it's because there's pressure and internal stuff going on and creation itself is feeling the loss of our sonship so we were created to work together with creation and bring a harmony and balance and establish the kingdom of god throughout creation and creation has been separated from us and separated from god in one sense i know god's everywhere and in everything but he has chosen to work in creation through us therefore he wants us to be revealed to creation so it says you know creation is longing for the revealing of the sons of god well what is that revealing well it's of revealing our true nature to be stewards of creation to be those who bring god's kingdom establish the kingdom of love to be fruitful to multiply to increase to fill to expand god's government and peace throughout the whole of that creation so creation it says will be set free into the freedom of the glory of the children of god in romans 8 and i think that is the key when we discover who we are and glory there is it, it carries the thing of weight so the the weight of our identity who we really are knowing the truth of who we are and then ex working that truth as sons from a governmental perspective of the kingdom of god then we're going to free creation from its bondage to corruption or decay which is going to deal with death it's going to deal with anything which is contradictory to union and oneness and love so that means where creation is in bondage to certain laws of thermodynamics and the law of entropy and other things in other words things you know get worse and there's decay and death and all of those things then ultimately the absence of death is abundant life so ultimately immortality has been brought to light you know 2 timothy 1 9 and 10 are powerful verses there and in 10 it talks about that through the gospel life and immortality have been brought to light so there's a sense where death has been defeated and overcome that we live in the abundance of life that jesus promised us so that means that when we reconnect to creation everything that creation is out there in a sense disconnected from us and operating independently but not because it's influenced by something and um, then that influence is going to be our influence for good so what does that look like well it's hard to sort of quantify it but i think everything that god intended in the beginning for us in living in an environment which was in almost symbiosis with creation but we fulfilling our role to tend it and to to look after it and to nurture it and to protect it when we begin to re-establish that it will respond to us it, so it will begin to respond to us and release again all that it was intended to be for us but we need to be who we were intended to be for it yeah, so there's a there's a big change that has to take place and we we need to start thinking about what is our responsibility as sons towards creation we live in so not asset stripping it not destroying the planet not destroying the forests and the sea and everything else with sort of disregard you know as if well we can do whatever we like you know well yes we can but we're there are consequences of doing whatever you like you know how many how many species that were created are now extinct because we have disrupted their habitat or wiped them out you know i was looking at a tv program last night about the blue whale and you know we almost brought it to the point of extinction because we hunted it you know because we wanted to harvest it well it wasn't created for that reason you know and i think for some some senses it's like we've got to get our perspective correct and look at it from 
a stewardship perspective of I'm here to look after and nurture and care for, and it will, in a sense, bless me as I bless it. So I think that means the solar system will come back into a harmony. The frequencies of the planets will begin to harmonize again. Therefore, things within the solar system will bring benefit on the Earth, a atmosphere of replenishment in which people's um, everything doesn't die. It just gets replenished because everything was designed to be self-replicating within our within creation. It's just lost its ability. Therefore, it dies rather than repairs itself or renews itself or restores itself. But God wants to restore all things. So the abilities that creation once had will be restored to it, including our abilities in sonship, which will be to live without death. You know, therefore, all forms of death need to be removed from creation. And obviously, we are ambassadors that carry, as Jesus said, you are the light of the world. So that light needs to shine. You know, brightly to begin to get creation's attention that's the revealing of who we really are and i think alongside that there comes our maturing you know knowing who we are in our heavenly position our uh, sense of authority in that position and using that authority wisely to bless um, to deal with everything which is hindering what god is desiring to do in restoration by coming restoratively to all people, all things, um, with that restoration message. So I do feel it's a process. It's not an event. So we'll see a transition where more and more things begin to awaken and more and more things become realigned and reconnected relationally. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.